In the last video, we talked a bit about data types and strings, numbers, booleans, and such. Um, in this video, we're finally going to start writing some JavaScript and seeing stuff actually start to happen and using these data types. So we'll talk first about a couple of built-in functions in JavaScript. And so I'm going to write some code and talk about it. So alert. Hello, world. So, hello world. For those of you who don't know, is kind of a uh, it's kind of a uh, a programming gag that's that's run on for a long, long time. And basically, um, when you first start coding, your very first uh, code should be a program that just prints or alerts "Hello world," and it's it basically represents your entry into the programming world. So, with that one line. Let's run this program. So we open up our variables.html. We'll see this page says, hello world. Awesome. So we're now finally starting to do stuff in JavaScript. Notice hello world is a string. So it's a, uh, we could also alert numbers. Or we could alert booleans. Doesn't really make sense to 99.999% of the time you're going to be alerting string values. Um, so that's the uh, that's the first of the couple methods that I wanted to uh, to talk about. The second method is console.log. And so console.log takes any number of, uh, of values, just like alert. So just like alert, we, you know, we write out the words, put parentheses, and then put what we're trying to print inside of it. So if we do the same thing, hello world, now let's get rid of this alert. And just as a side note, um, JavaScript statements uh, end in semicolons uh, conventionally, but they don't have to. Uh, so if we console log hello world without a semicolon, it'll still work. And if we refresh, you'll notice we don't get anything. So you might be saying, oh, where is this uh, Where is this code? So just like, um, so we, so, sorry. The console is actually kind of hidden. Um, and so to get to it, we're going to open up our tool that we used before, uh, Chrome Developer Tools. And so we're going to learn a new section of it. So before, we used this just to just to uh, look at our HTML and see our HTML elements. But now we can go into the console. And let me get rid of that. Perfect. And there we'll see Hello World in the console. So you might be asking, you know, why? so why do we have alerts and why don't we use why, why do we use one versus the other um, why don't we only use alerts obviously alerts are more obvious well so if we had let's look at let's say we have multiple alerts and we say like hello goodbye and my name is Michael Let's put that in a more logical order. And then let's do the same thing down here, except we'll do console logs. Quick pro tip, um, I want to change both of these alerts to console logs. If I double click, do command D or control D for Windows, it'll highlight both and I can change it both at the same time. So let's see the difference between these three alerts and these three console logs. So we do alerts, it's going to go one alert, two alert until I hit OK, and then three alert until I hit OK. Whereas the console logs will appear all at once. And so there's a couple things. One, alerts kind of get annoying, and you're not going to want to alert things all the time. Um, and two, console logs are not meant for a user. So 
alerts are visual elements. Um, anyone can see them. If you alert something on a web page, anyone who goes on that web page is going to see it. Uh, console logs are not meant for everyone. As I, as I showed you, you can only see the console in the developer tools. So you might go to the logical conclusion that this is meant for developers. Um, and if you go on certain websites, you'll see that just to, as an example, we went to bestbuy.com and opened up the dev tools. It will log a ton of stuff, um, stuff that you, any typical shopper doesn't give a crap about. Uh, none of this is meant for them. They only care about what's on the actual page in their shopping. But the developers who work on bestbuy.com likely will be using the console for debugging purposes. They might kind of track where data is going and all sorts of things. So unlike alerts, console logs are only meant for developers and that's the purpose of using it. So thank you for watching and we're gonna learn a bit about variables in the next video.